Hi, my name is Jonas. As some of you may know, I used to be very active in the trance scene in the first decade of the millennium. And if you ask people which synth they do associate with trance, the answer usually will be the Roland Shape 8000 or 8080. Well, I used to release many, many trance records and actually I never ever used a JP8000 or 8080 on one of them. I guess at the time I thought it was already a little bit too much overused, uh, a bit of a cliche sound and I wanted to have my own sound. But yeah, here we are, 2022, I'm running a YouTube channel about synthesizers and music production and every time I ask which synth would you like to see features next, the JP8000 or 8080 comes out on top. So yes, here it is, the JP8080, let's take a look at it and make some music. In the mid 90s, after a long wave of menu driven digital synths, the demand for a modern synthesizer that would have the sound and the ease of control of the old school analog synths was rising. The answer was virtual analog. The first synth that was marketed as such was the Klavia Nordlied, released in 1995. It uses DSP ships to emulate analog synthesis and was a big success. The big three from Japan would follow very soon. Cork released the Prophecy and Yamaha the AN1X. Roland looked back to their analog flagship of the 80s, the Jupiter 8, and they set out to make a modern incarnation. This turned out to be the JP8000, released in 1997. A year later, Roland released the rack version, the JP8080, which is basically the same synth, but it's adding more polyphony, a vocoder, and more patch memory. So let's check out some of the JP8080 sounds. I created some patches myself, and I'm going through some of the presets as well.
So now you heard what it sounds like, let's take a closer look at the features of the JP8080. There are two oscillators. Oscillator 1 has the triangle, regular saw, square with pulse width modulation, triangle modulation, noise, And then the very interesting feedback option. And then of course the famous super saw. Oscillator 2 has a more traditional square saw, triangle, and noise selection, or can be completely replaced by an external source. This is what will be used, for example, when you are using the vocoder. There are envelopes for the pitch, amp, and filter, which are very nice to use because the sliders show you in one glance how everything is set up. And then we have the filter, which can be a little bit fiddly to find the sweet spots on, certainly in combination with high resonance, but it certainly can do a job shaping the sound with a high pass, bound pass and low pass option that can be either 12 or 24 dB per octave.
Then there are also two LFOs, an effect section with chorus, flanger, phaser, distortion and delay options, and of course the vocoder section. This synth has loads of sound design possibilities with nice hands-on controls, which makes it a lot more than simply a trance machine. It's a really great and versatile synthesizer, which sounds very good. So now the JP8080 is in the studio, let's have some fun and create a trance track like we're back in 1999. All the sounds besides the drums will come out of the JP8080. Let's start with a good bass groove. I'll be using two patches. The first one is playing this simple offbeat bass line. And on top of that, an arpeggiated bass line that has a little bit of a lately bass vibe going on. Combined with the drums I programmed on the Roland TR-8S, we already have a solid foundation going on. Now let's add the first Super Saw based patch. Just for fun I'm going to use more or less the same patch that was used in Out of the Blue. I'm going to use it for build up in the intro. Next we'll need some paths, something that the JP80 is very well suited for, especially when you're using uh, the Super Saw oscillator, you can create these very big fat sounding lush paths. The first patch I also uh, put through a MIDI gate to rhythmically gate it. If you want to know how to do that, I created a, a video where I explain those kind of things, you can find it here. So let's listen what it sounds like. To give this some more texture, I'll layer it with one of the JP8080 preset patches actually called Paradise Path. And when you combine them, you'll get this. And now the main lead. And yes, of course, we'll be using a big fat super saw. Combining all of these things together gives us this very nice classic trancy build up in the break. The only thing still missing is this simple noise sweep FX patch that will be used in the build up.
And that is everything we need. The JP8080 is a very big sounding synth, so you really don't need layer upon layer of sounds to get this classic late 90s vibe going on. Less is more, that's what I always say. So let's check out the full track.
And that's it again for today. If you want more like this, do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell button. See you next time. Bye bye.